Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Arrow Season 7. We haven't done one since the two big announcements that number one, Felicity's leaving, and number two, Arrow is ending. Super sad about that, but today we're going to talk about some more exciting news in regards to Arrow rather than anything sad. And this is due to some leaked set photos, and it's all linking into Crisis on Infinite Earth. So this is actually a crossover video along with an Arrow video which is obviously what they're shooting and so these scenes and the leaks are from Canada Graphs so go check out his blog also check out the photos obviously in this video but there'll be more on the blog and also follow them on Twitter at Canada Graphs so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year alright so this is Arrow's final season, obviously, before we go into the final season. So this is the final episode, so they're currently shooting it. So I believe that The Flash is shooting its finale right now, but Supergirl is like a week or so behind, so they're not up to that point yet. So, you know, we're basically going into the stage where most of the shows start wrapping, and so this is one of the last days on Arrow. We know for a certain this is Felicity, a.k.a. Emily Bet Ricards' last day of shooting, so we'll talk about that in a sec. But this is for episode 22 of Arrow. I could be wrong, it could be 23, but Subigo and The Flash have cut down to 22, so I'm presuming Arrow has done the same thing. I haven't really looked into that. But these are some of the set photos we're going to be going through and some leaks as to what Canada Graphs was able to see on the set. Alright, so. The title of this episode, Canada Graphs was lucky enough to actually get a photo, and it's officially titled, You Have Saved This City. Very, very fitting as to a finale title, because you know it's, You Have Failed This City, not You Have Saved This City. So, essentially, this is in regards to Oliver, and maybe this links into what we're going to be talking about, and maybe how the season finale actually ends, sort of leading into Crisis on Infinite Earths. Alright, so... It's official. Crisis on Infinite Earths has officially begun, and obviously we got the teaser in Elseworlds that, you know, Oliver made this deal with the Monitor, and we had the ending scene to do with Crisis on Infinite Earths teasing it, and it's officially coming. And so, these set photos officially announce, basically, that it's all coming into fruition, even at the end of this season. You know, I was expecting nothing really until next season, so I'm kind of shocked, very excited though. So from these set photos, we get our first look at the Monitor as he returns. So the Monitor was in the Elseworlds crossover, he was really good, played by Le Monica Garrett, he really killed it, I'm really looking forward to his return. But he's officially going to be in the Arrow season finale as the Monitor, you can see on the screen right now. We have a photo of him on set, he's got his hairdo, he's got his, you know, mutton chop beard as well because we saw him at a rap party recently for Arrow, so that was curious, that sparked some people's attention online. I didn't think too much of it at first, but obviously this is the reason why. And you see his suit being hung up on the side, so obviously he's in a break right here, like he's getting ready to shoot a scene or something like that. And Canada Graphs was lucky enough to get a photo, but it's officially confirmed. Crisis has begun. He's coming. I'm guessing this is going to be very late in the episode because I don't see them revealing something as big as this, whatever he's going to reveal. I don't think they're going to do that early in the episode. I think that might be the cliffhanger. So that's exciting. It could be something to do with the ending. But like I previously mentioned, let's go back to Emily Betricard. So this is her final day of shooting and... Felicity right now in present day has a while until she's going to actually give birth to Mia Smoke as we've seen in some of the future scenes. We saw that birth scene already so that is definitely teased and this links into the leaks because both Oliver played by Steven and Emily who plays Felicity are wearing the exact same clothes that they wore during that birth scene so it seems like some sort of time manipulation is going on. I'll go over some theories as to what it is. I have a few different options. But they're wearing the exact same clothes. So it seems like we're at that moment that we saw in a previous episode. So 
is this the final scene of the episode of the finale and you see the monitor appearing and this is in fact a time jump this is in the future this scene and maybe that's the way they end the episode because I have a few other theories but it does seem like the time jump theory is actually a really good idea because obviously Felicity won't be pregnant like by the end of this season that there, there is no way that that's going to happen it will definitely be you know around the start of next season if we were going in terms of real time so there will most definitely be some sort of time jump and so with them wearing the same clothes it seems to confirm that or option number two I have a few other options time traveling is in play and you see that maybe the monitor actually takes him and shows him this time by pulling a version of Oliver from our present day into the future showing him his happiest moment in the future obviously he may be something to do with his deal with him that he wants to finally just see this birth and then he's happy to do whatever the monitor wants all right so let's move on to the next theory so Oliver gets to witness the birth with the monitor but it's a bit like a Christmas carol so if you've seen the traditional tale of a Christmas carol and Scrooge he's taken by all these ghosts to spectate life whether it's in the past future or present whatever's happening I think that this could be a sort of way to show what's going to happen in the future to Oliver but he's actually there like another version of Oliver like present-day Oliver looking over because you remember the monitors incredibly powerful he's definitely one of the most powerful people in the entire Arrowverse that obviously we know but then that we don't know he's really really powerful and I'm sure he has the ability to do what you know the ghosts from a Christmas Carol are able to do so I think him potentially spectating his and Felicity's older self actually having that amazing moment of them having the child I think this could be one of those moments and I think that it's very very plausible and so he shows him the birth or is it all just normal and the monitor just happens to appear right after the birth and so that's why Oliver is in the same clothes and he warns of the incoming threats and what to do and this links into their deals so he just happens to appear at that exact time and it's not time traveling but it's still a time jump obviously because you know that is a long time in the future is at least like four or five months in the future so there will definitely be some sort of time jump if it's not time travel if it is this last choice that he just happens to appear after the birth so we would, you know, go flash forward and see this specific time and then, you know, Felicity gives birth and then maybe Oliver steps out the house, the monitor appears and is like, I need you. And then that's how they end the episode and it teases what's to come for Crisis on Infinite Earths because I don't believe that the monitor is going to have such a big part in this episode. I reckon he's going to be, you know, decently... A part of the ending but I think that's all to tease crisis on infinite earths and what's to come and I think due to him making some sort of deal that we have no idea what type of deal he's making it's all going to link him very nicely and obviously most people have been theorizing that Oliver's going to die and it sort of backs up the point because we only have 10 episodes next season the final season of Arrow and it should end with obviously the finale but it should end with crisis basically so there is a high chance that Oliver might sacrifice himself you know instead of Supergirl or the Flash who die in the comics actually in crisis so maybe it's a twist on that and lots of people have been theorizing that his deal is he will sacrifice himself so that everyone else can live and they can you know live on happily but in turn he dies because that is part of his deal so I don't know if I fully believe that. I don't think they're going to end Arrow by killing off their main character because it will sort of leave a bad taste in a lot of viewers' mouths, I think, and they might get a bit of backlash as to ending the series like that. So, what do you think about all of this? Are you super excited to see the Monitor return? I know I am, 
super excited for Crisis on Infinite Earths as well, so if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter at the DC TV Show, also on Instagram, I'm very active on both of those. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.